Hey there! Welcome back to Two Minutes Pi. Today, we're diving into Python to demystify a powerful yet often confusing concept star args and star star quarks in functions. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about args first. The asterisk before args tells Python to accept any number of positional arguments. These arguments are collected into a tuple, which you can then use within your function. Imagine you're throwing a party and you want to invite some friends, but you're not sure how many will show up. What do you do? You create a list of names with a star in front like this. This way, you can invite as many friends as you want and Python will handle it for you. Let me show you an example. Here's a function called invite underscore friends. It takes one required argument, host underscore name, and then with star friends, it collects all the extra names you provide. Now, when we call this function like this, Python bundles all the extra names into the friends tuple. So you can print them or do whatever you like. Moving on to quarks. The double asterisk before quarks indicates that Python should accept any number of keyword arguments. These arguments are stored in a Python dictionary. Think of it as planning a party with options. You want to set various parameters like music, food, and decorations, but some might change. You create a dictionary with two asterisks like this. This lets you specify options flexibly. Let's see how quarks works. Here's a function called plan underscore party. It takes a required argument, host underscore name, and then with star star party underscore details, it collects all the extra options you provide. When we call this function like this, Python gathers all these options into the party underscore details dictionary, so you can customize your party easily. And there you have it. Use star args for flexible lists of arguments and star star quarks for versatile keyword options. Thanks for tuning in. That's all for now. And as always, keep coding.